Hi everyone, this is Lori from Happy Birds Glitter Nest and today I'm going to show you some things that I picked up on AliExpress and I also have just a, a small handful of items that I picked up from Hobby Lobby so I'll include those towards the very end. Now I have to tell you I haven't ordered from AliExpress in a very long time but um, I decided to go for it and I have to say I was pretty impressed because um, the sellers generally predicted that I would receive my items between 60 and 70 days, somewhere around there. But I received the majority of the items that I purchased within about three weeks. So um, I, I was pretty impressed. So the first thing I purchased were these beautiful little rhinestone clusters and they're little charms and I bought these from a seller by the name of um, M-U-H-N-A and these were three dollars and 48 cents for 10 pieces and I have a lot more than this I just I'm just putting these up here right now but as you can see they really sparkle. I think these would make lovely earrings. That's why I ordered 30 of these. <laughs> but I thought they were so pretty. And then, um, let's see. I also ordered these gorgeous little sew-on buttons for $1.68. And they just shine. They just have so much pretty shine to them. They're just lovely. I'll have to show you these. Those gorgeous. And um, I thought, well, I could use these, even though they're lavender, as little leaves um, for my roses when I'm gluing on my embellishments um, on craft projects. And I may be able to use the two and a half millimeter rhinestone chain if I want to glue this on um, uh, stiff white felt and then glue the rhinestone chain around it kind of outline it I don't know if it'll work but I'm gonna try that I just thought these were beautiful and you can't beat the price that's for sure okay put these back and <clears throat> I also purchased these beautiful little butterfly connectors. So let me get these. And I just thought they would be really pretty if you use these on earrings, you know, or just charms for your craft projects. You guys know how much I I love my charms. And let's see, I think I wrote down the price for these. Um, what did I? Uh, yeah, $2.46 for 10 pieces. And the store's name is spelled J-A-K-O-N-G-O. -O. Okay. All right, and then... I purchased something just for myself, <laughs> yeah, which I don't do a whole lot. But these I thought were pretty. These were cubic zirconia earrings for a dollar ninety nine, and I just thought they were lovely. It showed um, that they had purples, or kind of like a lavender type purple, which is actually what I ordered, but. Um, they sent me these <clears throat> clear crystal ones instead by accident, but I still really love them. I think they're pretty. And the store for that is, was called, um, let's see, let me spell it, L-X-O-E-N. And they were $1.99. Then I ordered all of these beautiful little... 
flower centers. And I have to say they were they're just gorgeous. And the seller for these, let me see, I wrote it down, is called the Halo Home Official Store. <laughs> and it Halo is H-A-L-O. And these they, they come in different sizes. Um, these were a dollar eighty-two per package. So let me go ahead and and open these. But I thought <coughs> these would be just gorgeous to put on any type of craft project. There's more in the back there, but I just wanted to show you how it shined. Look at these. Such a beautiful shine to them. Just turn most of them over for you. And I believe these were called the AB, Crystal AB ones. And yeah, so these would be great to add to projects. Look at that shine. Aren't they beautiful? And they had them in all colors. They even had them in mixed colors. And the only reason I didn't choose the mixed colors is because um, there were some colors in there that I knew I would never use. Um, like they had some that were um, black rhinestones. <laughs> you know, things like that that I would never touch, not, not uh, in my craft projects anyway. I like the colorful, sparkly things. But these are a little bit larger, because like I said, they give you different size choices as well. But these are like a deep green, and I thought, oh, these are just beautiful. And you know, with these, I was thinking the same thing um, as I was thinking with the about the purple little rhinestones here. I was thinking if I glued this onto stiff white felt and wrapped that tiny rhinestone chain around it, I bet you I could make them a little larger too if I wanted to use them on a project that required that. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> so I'll go ahead and put those aside. And then, let's see. From the same seller, <clears throat> I got these clear ones. Now they're a little different. See, these are AB, and these are just the clear ones. So I'll open this up so you can see these a little more closely. Probably should have done this ahead of time. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see? Just beautiful. I love shiny things, that's for sure. Here we go. And those are a little smaller as well. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. And then I found these cute little ladybug. Um, Charms. Let's see. I don't know if I wrote that down or not. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, these were two dollars and forty-six cents, and the store name is spelled um, J A K O N G O. Let's see. Okay, there we go.
and I just thought they were really pretty because they had rhinestones in them. And I know a lady who loves the color red and she also loves rhinestones in her jewelry. So I'm going to make her a couple of really sweet little ladybug earrings with these. Well, not a couple of them, but <laughs> I'm making earrings so it's a set of two. Aren't they pretty? Okay. And then... <clears throat> I ordered these pretty little rhinestone snowflakes and let's see I think I wrote those down as well yeah these are a dollar fifty five and this is the seller on Aliexpress is called bead mall store it's all one word it's bait it's b-e-a-d-m-a-l-l -L, and that's one word I thought these would be pretty for craft projects. Yeah. So I'm hoping you can see them. Okay, and then let's see. Oh. I also purchased um these little filigrees and they were a dollar ninety nine and the name of the shop is kind of strange. Um, it's it's actually just numbers. It's five four three zero one four three. That's the name of the shop. <laughs> and these are twenty millimeter by thirteen millimeter. And I thought these would make lovely little connectors for earrings. And if you wanted to you could even use um, it paints on this, you know, paint them a metallic color, real pretty metallic color. It's totally up to you, but I just thought this was a really good deal uh, because you get, um, I was trying to think, I think 20 pieces, yeah, 20 pieces for $1.99. So that's not a bad deal. Okay, and then. Move this out of the way. Oh. <laughs> I purchased these lavender pearls, and it really pays to read <laughs> before you purchase because I thought, oh, these are so pretty. I'm going to use these in a jewelry project. And then I looked, and I'm looking at these, I'm thinking, wait a minute, there's no hole in this. <laughs> and so I realized that I purchased the no hole beads that you use in craft projects and whatnot. So even though these are pretty, I won't be able to use them in, in the way that I wanted to use them, but these will make lovely little um, embellishments to glue on to your craft projects. And uh, with these little purple beads, let's see, I paid um, two dollars and two cents. These are eight millimeter. And the store's name is um, B E A D S C N. Okay. And then. Okay. Then I also purchased. Let's see. These, this little. Um, five millimeter half round uh, pearl bead chain. That's what they called it. <laughs> and the store is the Peter Wu store. It's P E T E R, and then Wu is W U. And this was two dollars and three cents. And I just thought it was really pretty. Now, um, they call this five millimeter, but I swear this looks more like a four millimeter to me. But either way, I think it'll look really nice on the craft projects. 
just something a little different. And you get several yards. I think there's, I think there's like uh, five yards here or something like that. And let's see what else. Oh, <laughs> I have to show you my big mistake. <laughs> now, remember what I told you, that it pays to really read what you're getting? Um, I was looking for 15 millimeter buttons. 15 millimeter, okay, that's a half an inch. And what I got <laughs> were these. Now, I have to say, these are really pretty. But, oh my heavens, they sent me 30 millimeter buttons. And I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with these? And so, what I did was, um, oh, let me give you the price for these two. They were... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't write it down. I knew they weren't much. They were only a couple dollars. And um, so what I did was I took some of my metallic gold um, thread that you bead with and I just took a couple of pieces and slipped it in and tied it in a bow and you can put a, a drop of Elmer's clear glue right in the middle so that doesn't unravel and just allow it to dry and I put just a little tiny rhinestone in the center and I thought well I could use these as craft embellishments I could put these like um, maybe if you're making a frame or something like that with photos that would look cute so I'm going to try to do different things with these. I I was even thinking maybe a row of rhinestone around here. You know, might give it a, might jazz it up a little anyway. But um, I still think these are pretty. I'll probably end up uh, maybe decorating these and donating them or something like that to the senior center as they um, do crafts once a month and um, so they're always in need of craft supplies and whatnot. So, um, let's see. Oh. I also purchased <clears throat> some little vintage items to play with, around with. I'm making a, a recipe journal, and I, I'm not making it, um, like, uh, like I've seen online, I'm kind of doing this just for myself, you know, it's it's a thing that I can pass down, you know, um, to family or whatnot later on, and uh, I thought these were really cute, these are just little um, things to put in your journal and alter them if you want, and now mind you, you would have to get a magnifying glass to see <laughs> the instructions on some of these, you know, little cake recipes. But these are just more or less just for fun. And I got this whole book. Um, let's see, it wasn't too much. Yeah, these were $1.59, something like that. The seller is called um, Alley Deco Junk Journal Store. And it's spelled A L I D E C O, Alley Deco Junk Journal Store. And you know, so I might, these might be fun to kind of use. Different pictures. A lot of cakes in here. I think this is, yeah, see, it's a cake book. Yeah, so there's different pictures. Yeah, I mean, for, for for the price, it's a good deal. It says, I feel a kiss coming on. <laughs> and then, these are some retro vintage 
things that you can use. Hey, you could even use the packaging here. Some Wits crackers. I guess they're not Wits, they're high hose. <laughs> Those are cute. And then the little Nutella. Nutella. And then, let's see what this is. Oh, how to improve on nature. New Pop-Tarts. That must have been before they had icing on them. <laughs> Looks like some Oreo cookies there. Yeah, see the old Oreo packaging? Look at that. Be sensational with strawberries. These would be really cute in a little recipe journal. Fig Newtons. You can't see flavor, but you know it's there when you see the red. I must be talking about the Nabisco seal. <laughs> Butterfinger. Oh, that's cute. Ritz crackers. Skippy peanut butter. It's funny, some of these old vintage recipes and ads and whatnot, you look back on, um, they're supposed to look really appetizing, but... <laughs> Some of them you look at, you think, ugh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Hamburger Helper. Mars Bar. There's some, uh, looks like fruit, fruit cocktail. Fig Newtons. And Pillsbury Cake Mix. So these... Are pretty pretty cute and um, these I don't think I wrote this down um, as far as the price goes but I know it was really cheap okay and then I thought these were a good price too See, did I write those down? Let's see. Yeah, these were a dollar ninety-nine. The seller's name, I'll spell it, is G I M U E Journal Store. And you get fifty pieces. They they had a lot of different little boxes, but I picked out this one. And for those of you who are wondering, I've never made a journal before, so this is a big step for me. And I'm kind of doing it on my own. I'm not posting it because I don't feel confident enough to post it yet. Because like I said, I've never made one, but this will be just, like I said, kind of for me and um, maybe I'll share it when I'm finished with it I'm not putting I'm not making it super duper fancy I just thought I would kind of give it a try and dip my toes into the water <laughs> yeah so these are just little note cards that's cute too isn't it Looks like you get three of each type, so there's actually quite a bit in here. Glycerin and rose scented water. <laughs> My grandmother used to use that. I remember her talking about it. And she had some on her dresser. She used to put it on her face. <laughs> and then we have boric acid antiseptic and deodorant used e externally for dressing wounds ringworm eczema etc for eye lotion a teaspoon to a pint of hot water Ooh, I don't think I would put that in my recipe journal <laughs> sewing machine hmm. 
No, I don't think I put that in there either. This is cute. And vintage car service, washing oil, tires. So this is kind of cool, you know? Like I said, they had different boxes. These are more or less to just kind of put little notes and stuff. This looks like a chocolate milk beverage. Hmm. That's cute. And then we have 1975 Humber. I don't think that's 1975. I think they got that messed up. Because look at the car. That's not 1975. I wouldn't think. I'll have to look that up because I'm kind of curious now. Maybe it is. Maybe it was a car in a foreign country or something. Huh. I'll have to look that up. I'm curious. Not that I would put that in a recipe journal, but I am curious. There's some tires. Yeah. So these are kind of cool. I, I would use, I would say, um, the majority of them out of the box. So, I mean, that's a really good price. Okay. And then, I picked up just a handful of stuff. Here from uh, Hobby Lobby. I'm going to show you these. These are um, the Sewology buttons, and I buy these when they're half price. I never pay full price for these. And so, this, when you're looking at the price and you see, like this one, two seventy nine, just know I paid half of that. Okay. And I thought these were really pretty little hearts, and I can just cut the shanks off the back very easily. Use these as embellishments. And I paid half of $5.99 for this. So that was $3. And I thought these were gorgeous. I thought, oh, I'm going to have to put these on a special Christmas project. And yes, I am thinking about Christmas videos now because it's getting closer and closer to that time. And I bought these buttons for a specific Christmas project that I have in mind. And these were half of $3.29. Same thing, Christmas project. And these little buttons here, half of $2.29. And there were certain buttons in here I wanted to use for Christmas if I can find the right thing to go with it. And I thought these were pretty. Had kind of a lace pattern on them. And I thought, I loved these buttons. I looked at these and I thought, you know, this reminds me a little bit of the blue china plates. And I have the perfect... Um, thing to go with this. I'm not going to give away the craft project, but I'm hoping um, to be able to post that. But I'm not going to post it until um, I put my Christmas videos out because it might give away what I'm doing for my Christmas video, if that makes sense. <laughs> and um, I think that is about it. Yep. So I really hope you enjoyed this haul, and thank you so much for your patience and for sticking with me. And um, I will see you guys next time, and God bless each and every one of you. Take care now. Bye-bye.